I'm going to show you how you can share a public link for an individual Airtable record. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add a URL to this in the description. So by default, Airtable allows you to share individual URLs for records. The problem is those individual URLs can only be accessed by somebody who has an Airtable account. So they have to be in the, workspa the, in the workspace and then they also have to be in the base. So this extension gives you the option to be able to share those records without giving the person access to your base. So let's go through the table here. So, um, so this is the table. We've got a formula field here. This is provided to us by the extension. And what this extension does is it gives us a formula field that gives us a unique URL for each record. So if I open this right here, I will be able to see that individual record in a public page. Um, I can choose how this looks. So we've got a cover image now, we've got the primary field, etc. But I can choose how, how this looks and I can customize it. And I'll show you as we go how, how I do that. So when you buy the extension, this is what you would see. You'll want to fill up the API key, base ID, and table ID. Follow the blue URLs to find those. Once that's done, you'll need to fill up the fields to display. So those are the fields that are shown here, right? And empty fields, if you have a field that's completely empty, it will not automatically get imported, but the other fields, once you get here, they, you'll see that they'll just automatically get imported. So if you have an empty field, just make sure you input it manually, hit enter, etc. cetera. Um, you can also choose to remove fields if you'd like, and you can choose to rearrange them. And when you rearrange them or remove them, you know, the order will be the same here. And if you remove one, it won't be shown here, etc. cetera. So uh, another thing here is the cover image. So I've showed you what it looks like with the cover image. I'm going to remove that cover image. And this cover image can be an attachments field, or it could also be just a formula, like a URL to an image. And um, if it is a, an attachments field, we just take the first one. So we just look at that first image and then, yeah. So there you go. No cover image, still looks nice. Um, let's see. So another thing here is empty fields. So if I had date here and it's empty and I'm opening it up, I see an empty one. And in some cases you probably you know, a bunch of cases you don't want that and a bunch of cases you do. So if you don't, just hide the empty fields, then you can refresh and you won't see that date anymore. Cool. So the last thing here is the editor URL. So we've got a couple of extensions that produce URLs in the same way these are preview URLs. So you know how we have a formula here for preview URLs. We have other extensions that give you a formula for URLs to allow you to edit that record. So if you're using one of these extensions, like update existing record um, with their table form or the single record editor extension that we have, both of those, you know, if you have a formula field here that has the editor URL, you can add that editor URL here and then we would show um, a, a small editing button so that users can click on that button and be taken to the um, editor. So if you finished everything, you filled up everything here and hit save, um, you'll want to, after that, hit this little settings icon and then just grab this little formula and put it in Airtable. So if I hadn't set this up already, I would hit plus here. I'm just showing you how you would do it if you were to go through it. So you'd hit formula, you would paste that text here, and you would hit save. And these two are, are exactly the same right now.